Hey guys, welcome back to Pop Games and welcome to the first episode of my retro game playthrough series where I will be revisiting some awesome retro games and also discovering some new ones that I've never played before and sharing them with you guys. So let's go ahead and start our journey through video game history right now. Metal Slug. Metal Slug. Super Vehicle 001. What better way to start off this series than by playing Metal Slug for the Neo Geo. So this game is a sick and awesome, beautifully graphics and drawn and everything. This game is super cool. It's funny. It has collectibles. It has super crazy soldiers trying to attack you like that guy trying to tackle me right there. You have to free these hostages and keep running to the side as a side scrolling run and gun shooter this game is super cool it's funny and in my opinion it's one of the best games in this genre it's like non-stop action you you always have to be thinking always on your toes and trying to avoid bullets and bombs and avoid guys and all these obstacles but at the same time it's beautiful to look at it's hand-drawn the animations are fluid the buttons are responsive. This game is super cool in my honest opinion and I think that everybody that considers themselves a gamer should definitely try and play this game at least once. So this game was published in 1996. It was released in 1996 and it was developed and released by Nazca Corporation. It was published by SNK back in 1996 for the Neo Geo uh, arcade platform. Now this game has a lot of action like I said and I'm sure a lot of people out there have a lot of really cool fond memories of Metal Slug. So for one, my history with this game was I used to go to this laundromat with my aunt and with my uncle back in the day when I was a little kid. And they had this cabinet there, this, this arcade cabinet, and it had Metal Slug. And I would try to play this game, waiting for the clothes to finish, um, washing and drying and all that stuff. I would try to play this game, and I would never get very far in the game. It was super difficult for me as a little kid, but I really, really loved it. I loved the music. I loved the action. It was always going, like I said, super full action-filled game. And as a little kid... I really enjoyed that, you know, because as little boys, we try to, you know, always go outside and run around and do all this stuff and try to keep occupied. But this game always had me trying to think of ways to defeat the enemies. And as an adult, when I tried, you know, this game out the other day, I was like, this is really cool. I revisited this game and I think, like I said, that anyone, everyone who considers themselves a gamer, should try this game at least once this is a really cool game you have vehicles in the game you can get inside of a tank and run around and shoot things uh, you always have to be dodging bullets dodging bombs and dodging all the stupid soldiers to try to kill you but it's a funny game like look at that guy up there trying to you know crank that speaker that's really cool and you have to free the hostages like I said this is a really fun game and I think that everyone should play it so my verdict of this game is Hands down, one of the best. Best animations, a lot of good music. Some of the, some of the music is super fast, but I think that is really, really good. So, what do you think of Metal Slug? Do you think it's an awesome game? Do you think it's not good? I mean, if you're a gamer, you should, you know, let me know what you think in the comments below, and we can talk about this. So, the objective of this game is you have to always keep shooting, always keep going to reach the end of the level, and sometimes you have bosses, like this thing right here is like a boss, quote unquote. So, basically you have to kill that thing to finish the level, and once you finish the level, you move on to the next level. And the difficulty does progress, it does get a little tougher every time, you have to do a lot you know, more things, a lot of different things. Um, that the game requires you to do so that you can win. Now, it's not an easy game. As you see here, I died a few times here. I had a trouble, you know, I had a lot of trouble playing this. I was like, yo, why do I keep dying? Am I that bad? Are my reflexes really that bad? But 
This game always keeps you on your toes. So what do you guys think so far of Metal Slug? But I love the graphics. Look at those graphics, guys. The explosions are really cool. And I think that's one of the best things of this game is the explosions. And the sound effects and the music is cool, but the sound effects are super, super cool. I like that a lot about this game. In this stage here, this one's a, this is a tricky one here. Uh, I was trying to avoid this electricity, so I jumped a couple times and I got hit, and it was just too, <laughs> it was funny. Um, I tried to get that thing down there, and I got 50,000 points, if that's correct, if I can count the correct number of zeros. But uh, when I was playing this game, I was just laughing the whole time, and I could not put the game down because it's a really fun game. It's like addicting, and it's great because this game came out in 1996 so right now they make great games now in 2019 2020 but in 96 this is like a really cool fun game with great graphics in 1996 I mean at that time I don't even know how old I was, I was like nine years old back then so that's crazy I was nine years old and I'm like 30, I'm about to be 32, so that tells you how much technology was, you know, it wasn't bad at all back in 1996, you know, people might tell you, oh yeah, technology gets better and better, but this was really awesome, right here I'm trying to get a teddy bear, but I could not figure out how to get down there, if you know how to get that teddy bear, please let me know so I can start this game over and get that damn teddy bear, I tried jumping down there, but then I kept dying because you fall through that water right there, this is one of the the levels that really pissed me off because I kept trying to jump and I would jump into the water and die instantly uh, trying to get that stupid teddy bear but this game is challenging it's fun <laughs> look at that fish he just came out of nowhere and ate me that's awesome but um I had a great time playing this game and I might do a little bit more uh, a little bit more playing of this game and get some more gameplay so I did like a couple of missions here Maybe one, two, first mission, two. Yeah, I think I did like three missions in this game uh, for you guys for this gameplay video. So let me know in the comments down below if you wanna if you wanna um, see more of this game. Let me know in the comments down below so I can show you guys a little bit more of Metal Slug because I think you definitely want to see more. So I may revisit this in episode four of this series. Um, so that you can see this for, you know, it'll be Monday, January 6th. I might do another playthrough of this um, on January 6th. So you know, to show you guys a little bit more gameplay. Now look at this awesome boat here. Look at the detail on that boat. You have the guys, the soldiers here. <laughs> the guy, the guy jumping into the water. Um, throwing grenades at me, trying to kill me. He did actually kill me there. Pissed me off. If you... If you haven't noticed, I've had I've died a couple of times in this stage already. You know, it's been like a couple continuous screens. Oh, look at that guy! Destroyed the boat, and then that guy died, and then I keep going. But um, oh right there, see that's frustrating because I tried jumping back, but I fell through that hole and I died instantly. And I figured it out later on, but I can get onto that boat and shoot him from there and then jump back up. But um. I didn't do that very much in this stage. I was trying to jump up and shoot down, because that's a cool little feature. You can jump up and then keep shooting down, like aiming down and shooting them if they're below you. But uh, I was just trying to mess around here, trying to figure it out. But like I said, guys, this is a very fun game. And if you like what you see, uh, let me know. Let me know what your stories are, um, any memories you have playing this game. Oh, I wonder what the S is right there. Maybe like a super weapon. Oh, look at him trying to. <laughs> Trying to pump the water out so he doesn't sink the boat. That's really funny. See, those are the things that that this game is, is super cool for, you know? Oh, I'm trying to jump up, but I could not get up, and I died again in this game. So cool, though. I really like this game. Oh, look at that. Just jumped like nothing and died. Super, super cool game, guys. 
I really love this game. Oh, and if you get if you get close to the other characters, like that's the enemy characters, you can knife them. You can do like a melee attack by knifing them, which is really cool too. I'm trying to take out this tank. Die, tank, die! Explode! Awesome. Super cool game. Oh, wow, you saw that guy? Destroyed like in pieces jumping at the screen. That's what I'm saying back in 1996 They made a game that was called metal slug and you're seeing it right now. This game is super cool Like I can't imagine. I mean, I can't think I can't fathom how good this game looks and it's from 1996 Super cool guys super cool game So my verdict of this game is if I were to grade it, I would give it an 8 out of 10. And the reason why is because it's an almost perfect game, but it does have like stupid little, I guess, animations that if you're not fast enough, you'll die. It might just be because I'm getting old and my reflexes aren't fast enough anymore, but you know, nothing's perfect, but it is cool. It is definitely a must own game, a must play game at least if you're a fan of retro games like I just rediscovered this recently and I fell in love with it and nine-year-old me had trouble playing this game but you know 32 year old me really loves this game really cool it's an awesome game that any gamer should definitely definitely play so that is my verdict of Metal Slug Super Vehicle 001. All right guys, so that was Metal Slug. If you like it, let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, like, share, subscribe, and also make sure you hit the bell notifications because I'm doing a series here on my channel. So this series will be done every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So Mondays will be run and gun and shoot 'em ups. And then on Wednesdays, we're going to do brawlers. And on Fridays, we will do platformers. So make sure you guys subscribe and turn on bell notifications so you can watch those videos and never miss out. So if you like this video, like I said, like, share, subscribe. And I will catch you guys next time. Rock on.